last time, the last Saturday, we started reading verse 96. I will just shortly, shortly, shortly repeat the verse and then we will continue uh, on the reading. May the two supremely astonish. Okay. Sorry. No. 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 May the two supremely astonishing, blissful, rasika, amorous, and enchanting syllables, radha, that fulfill all desires, that are muttered by Shri Hari, who sits in a bower house on the bank of the Yamuna as the king of yogis, meditating on the effulgence of her lotus feet with eyes filled with tears of love always be manifest in my heart. So beautiful verse where we see that Shri Hari Krishna actually is meditating on Radhika's effulgence of Radhika's lotus feet, actually her toenails. So this is so beautiful to see that the person who is the origination of Ramajoti, we could say, meditating on the pulgans of her lotus feet. And he's just muttering her name, always remembering her. Ramajoti is not Krishna. No. Ramajoti is a different thing. Krishna. Krishna can meditate. Brahma Jyoti cannot meditate. No, no, I didn't say Brahma Jyoti meditates. Krishna. <laughs> no, you say Brahma Jyoti meditate. Brahma Jyoti, no light can meditate in different light. Yeah, yeah, of course. I was uh, saying that Krishna is the source of Brahma Jyoti, not that he is uh, Brahma Jyoti, that uh, he made Brahma Jyoti is meditating. Yeah. Hmm. Rad. Rad, yeah. Sometimes we are think that we are without formless. If we are found for form, no, no form, we cannot see anything. Mm -hmm. Light cannot, you have a two light in one room, they meditate each other, but they must see each other. Hmm? Each other. And then they give their light, but they don't know other light is also there. So they are impersonal. So we have to come in our form. If we are not in form, we cannot meditate in others. That has to be very clear. Prabhupada, one place say, if we recognize ourselves as a soul and super soul, after that we will become impersonal. Mm -hmm. Careful. We will block ourselves. We have to come in the form. Yes. This mistake happened. So we not go in Sarupavish. So without Sarup, our Devotion not to start our lunch. When we have a sarup of 
only to identify that I'm a female is Gopi Bhav. Then I can meditate in Krishna. And we want to be a Radha Dasi, then we have to develop this Dasi Bhav for Radhika, not for Krishna. Then it comes what I want to become. Yeah. So the, the yeah. first, sorry, uh, the first part of the commentary uh, was talking about how Krishna is meditating on the effulgence of Radhika's toenails. And uh, I remember Gurudev last time talked that uh, Shuddha Bhakti actually is when we are living in present. So we need to be present in, uh, in the now. And one, one more which uh, one more thing which was very how to say uh, amazing to me and uh, encouraging is the thing that uh, was said that all obstacles take shelter at Radhika's lotus lotus feet. All obstacles. So we shouldn't worry. We just sh uh, should go into our bhajan and connect with Radhika and all obstacles will disappear because all obstacles take shelter at her feet. So we, we came to the sentence that uh, the Brahmajyoti of the yogis, so now I'm continuing to read from the sentence, the Brahmajyoti of the yogis, so that, for, that you know for, for translation, the Brahmajyoti of the yogis is formless and devoid of attributes. But the light that is worshipped by the Supreme Brahman, Shri Krishna, has forms and attributes. So the light that is worshipped by, by Shri Krishna has forms and attributes and plays innumerable sweet pastimes. That life is radical. While he meditates on the light shining from her lotus feet, Krishna repeatedly mutters her sweet holy name, Radha, while the hairs on his body stand on end ecstasy and a stream of loving tears flows from his eyes. Prema Maya Krishna is gladdened by Rati Rasananda the delicious ecstasy of love. When he meditates on the light shining from Radha's feet and he chants her sweet name becoming totally enchanted. The maidservant 
is so happy to see Madhava thus meditating on her Swamini's lotus feet and chanting her holy name that she loses herself in topmost ecstasy and thinks, I should show this once to my Swami. Quickly, she runs back to Swamini and says, Oh God, that crown jewel of heroes for whom you are so eagerly waiting is sitting in a nearby kunja, meditating on the light emanating from your toenails and repeatedly chanting your holy name. There is also another reading of the words Ratira Sande Samokita. When Swamini hears the words of her maidservant, she also becomes enchanted by the delicious ecstasy of love. This is so beautiful, actually, that when how Manjari, in this case, by telling Radhika about Krishna meditating on her lotus feet and chanting her holy name, actually brings more emotions to Radhika and, in a way, increases their love, increases their connection. Because it continues that she had Radhika, she had already given up hope for meeting Krishna that night. And her heart had become dark like the new moon night of despair. Now she suddenly hears from her maidservant that Madhava is sitting in a nearby kunja, meditating on her in a favorable mood. So she also becomes enchanted by Rati Rasananda or the delicious ecstasy of love, as it was said before. After all, her Madana Mahabhava causes her to become happy, even if little obstacles are standing in her way to meeting Krishna. The maidservant speaks sweet words about Krishna to revive her Swami and brings her, brings her to the Kunja where her Nagara is staying. The There, Srimati sees Nagara immersed in meditation. A stream of sweet nectarian Radhanama 
flowing from his lotus light like marble. Seeing this sweet situation, Swamini becomes immersed in the ecstasy of Radhira Sananda. And her hairs are standing on it. With a sweet voice, the maid servant says, Oh, Yogiraj, open your eyes and see the treasure of your sadhana has come before you. Be blessed by enjoying the fruits of your sadhana. The powerful name of Radhika of Radha has attracted the deity Radha to come here personally. And the lotus feet you meditated on have come before you. Bless your eyes by beholding their sweetness directly. Hearing the words of the maidservant, the king of yogis slowly opens his eyes and becomes filled with Rati Rasananda by seeing the deity of his meditation before, before his very eyes. The maidservant relishes the sweetness of the divine couple. And when this vision disappears, Sripada humbly prays, May these two Paravidya syllables, Radha, be manifest in my heart. So beautiful. Actually, these words made me to select this verse, this prayer. May these two paravidya syllables, paradha, be manifest in my heart. He continues, she by whom all desires are fulfilled is called Paravidya. In this transcend, he has to know. Don't go further. Okay. So if you see. All mantra is paravidya. Even the maha mantra is paravidya. So our Mahaprabhu, all mantra he is giving is a paravidya. is all Radha Mantra. Is all connected to Radha Rani. You can ask. 
how it works. It's connected. Anyone want to say? Share? Yeah. Means it gives transcendental knowledge. Paravidya. Paravidya is Radha Mantra. Yeah. All mantra is Radha Mantra. Mm -hmm. Ask any mantra. Gurudev. No, what we are practicing any mantra, check and it's a Radha mantra. Even in Kopichana Balabaya, someone also. But how come and say? Radha, Radha. Turn. Rather, I just said also in uh, Kopal Mantra, it's also Gopi Janavalabhaya Swaha. So, the one uh, loved king of the Gopis, not a lover of the Gopis. And the queen of the Gopis is also Radharani. So, even in Gopal Mantra, Radha is also there. So, that's it. And one day, Jananda is telling, to me, he called me for that. He said that, Gurudev, I see Gopi means Radha. <laughs> I see. Say how. Say. Because all the gopis and the sakhis are expansion of Radha. Right? Yes. So they are all Radha. Yet they quote it's Shammai. Radha is only seeing Krishna. So Gopi and are looking only Krishna, like a Radha. So Gopi Bhav and Sakhi Bhav is Krishna meditation because these are like expansion of Radha. So if you practice Gopi Bhav and Sakhi Bhav, you have to see Krishna. You cannot go out from Krishna. After understanding Manjari Bhav, why we practice Gopi Bhav? Because we only want to see Krishna. And that is Gopi Bhav. But one wants to fix himself after cutting relation with Krishna. Only in Radha Dasi. So this is the sadhana. How to be a Radha Dasi? Understand? Radha Dasi is very difficult to become. Manjari Bhav is very difficult to practice. Gopi Bhav, Sakhi Bhav, very easy to practice. Can you explain all of the, this? Because you will. <laughs> it has to be listened more and more. One explanation is sufficient, is not for me. I, for me also, I come in problem. This sensitive. Navigation has to be very clearly fixed in mind. Very sensitive, because 
20 years I am practicing with Krishna and to, to forget him is a very difficult subject. And he is a very curved, he is not straight. When he go in, it's not easy to bring him out. But this is Gopi Bhav. So all go, here Gopi Janavallava means who is dear darling of Radhika, that Gopi. So Radha is there. So any mantra, if you see, is only worshipping to my Radha with Krishna. Who is it? Then I, I was just feeling that without knowing and without following the bhav of my Guru Dev, if I don't see him as Guru Manjari, I cannot develop Manjari more. Right. If I don't understand, then I will go the other way. Right. That's this, why we say Sri Guru Manjari. We uh, start with Guru Manjari. Yeah. Yeah. Please bring us there. Uh, swim. Swim is not cling. Swim. Swim. Radhika Dasi. Sri Guru. What is the meaning of Sri Guru? Say, uh, Sri Guru Charane Rati. Say, say, Uttama Gati. Uttam Gati means explain. Come here, explain. So, Guru, Guru Dev, Radhe Radhe, Guru Dev always likes this. Um, Line very much. Shri Guru Charane Rati say Uttama Gati. So, what what brings us when we get this attachment to the lotus feet of Guru Dev? You know, then we can reach this highest feeling. What he has, because from his feet, I feel it's emanating. The prema is emanating from Guru Dev's feet. And this is the, the divine love which is emanating. And Gurudev always says that these days that without mercy, no rati can come. And I was thinking, my God, you know, because I have no rati, I have no taste. So I was thinking, my God, how can I develop this taste? And then Gurudev revealed it like I have to actually beg for the mercy. I have to beg for the mercy of Gurudev's lotus feet. At least, Gurudev. Awaken this rati in my heart because I have no, my heart is so made out of stone. <laughs> so even that I don't have. I even have, I'm not attachment, I have no loba, but I can beg for this mercy. At least this I can try in my life, you know, if all other things are not working. So when we see all the songs of the Acharyas of Narottam Das Thakur, they always bring us there to the lotus feet of Guru, because he's not the goal, but he's the navigator. So the feet bring us there, right? When we are walking, we need our feet to walk us to the destination. So that's why we have to clinch to Guru Dev's lotus feet, because he's walking in the right direction. He's walking with all the other manjuris in the spiritual realm, and he's, he knows the way. So why not clinch to his lotus feet, you know? I think this is the mercy of, of our Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition that by developing the attachment to the lotus feet of Shuguru, who is walking through the dense forest and he knows the way to the Punja. So why not clinch there, you know? Automatically also we will reach there and we will reach the Uttama Gati, which is like described in Narutundas Thakur's prayer. Uttama Gati, but this manjari you have. 
गति मीन्स द हाइएस्ट गोल एंड श्री गुरु मीन्स वॉट इज दैट राधा दासी श्री मीन्स राधा गुरु मीन्स मेक सर्वेंट ऑफ राधा वेरी सिविल ब्रेन टू श्री Sri Guru, we can only bring one place to me, to Sri. What I am missing? No other place to make Radha Dasi to serve Jugala. You meditate, and you will see in all line of Baba. This is the meditation in every every line, even in the mantra, in the line. Uttam gati means the highest position of realization. narottam prarthana guru vandana is this but we do we don't understand i say when you sing you understand and sing you will tears will come how oh, you are mercy how oh, you navigate me to bring to your samne shri shri kishori Jai Ho Gurudev. This is not a 3D navigation. I wanted to say it's a transcendental navigation that goes to another dimension. So it's a special, you know, it's a speciality of Shri Guru. See, this is the thing. Guru Dev, there is a lot of uh, nav navigation instruments on the market. <laughs> you say in the market. That is in the, the meaning. Market. <laughs> yes. Lot of them. Some market. of them are very expensive, but useless. <laughs> and to know which kind of navigator I have to purchase and to surrender to the guidance. This instruction, Shri Guru, show us which navigator is really worth of my surrendering. That is the reason. Narayan Maharaj, I am reading the book. He is telling me, "This is the mercy when greed comes." I say, "Why, why? Without mercy, greed is not coming." You see that? You you will be not greedy if you have no mercy. My God, and Maxi, how come your previous sanskar nir aparadha naam lay taro hai premude nir aparad? Explain. Near aparada naam lai. Not doing mistakes and to pain to any any soul. Tar hoi premo the. Because of this naam aparad, 
we don't have proper discrimination intelligence to see which navigator is valuable because we are always looking from outside and if the price is the higher we put our faith and say yeah it must be good navigator if the design is a beautiful it must be good navigator <laughs> everything external and this is the lack of discrimination spiritual discrimination and this lack is result like guru dev is saying because of nam of aparat but but also if we are sincere in desiring radhika she guides us sometimes even guides us to some who are let's say wrong just to show us the contrast also that we can see black or white you know <laughs> so that one thing i want to say in this uh, krishna eyed radhika Till we not understand, we under shine it. Prabhupada and and Bhagavad Gita. If I assign with Krishna, assign with, I have no doubt with you. Means no doubt means. I want to be a gopi, and I want to be your lover. Till this desire not come, is not assignment. Try to fix it. But Gurudev, how I will understand this now? Because most of us here, I think. Don't want to be a lover of Krishna in that way, but we want to be Manjari of Radhika. So we don't want that to is that. Second, second, second step. If you assign it, then you want to be Manjari. Mm -hmm. Till you are not assigned. We are in sadhak there. Prabhu Padward is a bani by Bhagavad Gita. I will request to re listen Uddhava in my classes. He every place he is searching Radharani in Bhagavad Gita. I surprise when I listen to him. Is searching like anything in Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada, Radha. I cannot find. I find only in last paragraph of Bhagavad Gita, pleasure giving potency. But he is more higher than me. Uh, that he he is searching every place, the energy, what, where Prabhupada is writing, this energy is Radhika. What is Krishna energy is Radha. What is Krishna power is Radha. My beautiful. I was married. I said, "Wow, he is more elevated than me." In that surprise, his spiritual life surprise. And when the your student become more elevated, then more surprising happening. <laughs> Right? 
when your children do best thing father surprise right is more surprising why how you know i don't know he knows why i am not sharing now this because i want to surprise by your words because you give me more surprise what i say is not surprising to me but <laughs> when i listen is more surprising to me. Um. right radhe radhe jai gurudev dhanyawad i want yes. to make the point clear that dina dayal is asking when we assign with krishna we accept that he is god and now we decide that we want to love him with everything we have with body mind and soul we have no doubt in that that is gurudev saying it's like a gopi bhav we want to go in loving relation we want to be a lover of god that is the assignment but in which relationship we do that that comes after but the basic decision that i accept you as my lord and i want to be in loving relationship this is gurudev talking is like basically the gopi bhav of the jiva to go in loving relationship but which relationship that we decide after motherly friendly sakhi manjari that sometimes can be confusing when gurudev talking about gopi path but it's the basic decision of the jiva to go in a loving relationship completely wow. without doubt you see he explain more better than me <laughs> sorry <laughs> sir wow i want to share something else we have the first we have the goal we are reading gurudev explain always and then we have the ultimate goal and here in this reading in the text there we have the para vidya <laughs> first there's the vidya and then there's the para vidya the highest thing so the vidya can be is knowing about krishna everything but god krishna is not the goal the ultimate goal is shrimati radhika so the para vidya is radhika also i think this is fitting in this connection radhe 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 thank you very much goru chandra for this it's perfectly fit in connection <laughs> because you think explain that this rada syllables are not just syllables they are person and when the pure devotees are chanting the pure with pure love they don't chant mantras they chant the name of beloved knowing i love this person and i cannot survive without remembering chanting her name so the name radha which krishna is chanting crying is actually no different between personally radhika and when the goswamis 
were chanting, when the Rasika devotees are chanting, they see in these syllables, face, they see the form, hands, fingers, hair, eyes, they feel, smell, they hear the voice in these two syllables. Because Nama and Vigraha are Swarupa, Ekarupa. Nama Vigraha, our Swarup, is the person. And there is no difference. Ekarupa. We cannot yeah. say that Murti Vigraha is different from the name. That name is different from the Lila. No, they are all Eka Rupa. One form. Sweet. Yes. Guna, Rupa, Lila, everything is in the name. Yes. All qualities, the form, and all Lilas. Yes. Nama, Guna, Rupa, and Lila. Dham. Dham. Param Dham Gurudev is Vraja. Param Vidya yeah. is present in Param Dham. Yeah. <laughs> in Vraja. The source of all holy places, the most exalted place, Param Dham, is Vrindavan. Sri Rad, go on. Then the so I'll just repeat the last part. One time I want to say more. One one time one thing I want to say. One time also it comes to my mind in the front of my Gurudev. He said like this: Paravidya is Radha. Radha. Then I said, why not to Gurudev? Only I chant Radha. He said, then more higher than this is Gaura. Then I said, why not this? He said, what is Diksha Mantra? Everything is there. What is Maha Mantra? This is the Paravitya. This is everything is there. One day you will realize and understand. Do it. So now I can feel it. It's all Radha, Paravidya, and Gaura. Why Gaura? Means Jugal Darshan. <laughs> you feel that? It's a Jugal Darshan. One is only one Darshan, Radha Darshan, and one is Jugal Darshan. Paravidya, para can you explain what does it? Manavidya and higher than that anything, mm -hmm. that is Paravidya. Is a divine knowledge. Encompassing all the things. Over than all knowledge. Radhika is dancing on the crown jewel of the Vedas. See, Radha is one meditation and Gaura is both meditation. Gaura. I think, Gurudev, I think also Mahamantra 
giving moot of viraha yes. giving the separation yes. moot if i only chant radha mantra then i'm with radha always separation yes. moot cannot come i think ma- chanting maha mantra is searching separation cry you see this mean but why yeah. this meaning you understand because you chant with love not by the because of the principle you have to chant 16 rounds <laughs> you chant in love and viraha means i have no bhajan gurudev if not bhajan you cannot share like this rasik talk na so they we understand everything your explanation she is so happy to listen hmm. radhe radhe gurudev and all and may i share one Yes. Thank you so Thank much. You, so by by this sharing I got one inspiration. Actually this maha mantra is uh sorry. Gora is embodiment of maha mantra. Because gora is yugara. Maha mantra is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Radha and Krishna, and with Manjaris and Dharma. Means just to see Gora, we automatically remember Maha Mantra. Means if we chant Maha Mantra, automatically Gora and associates with Manjari come. Jai Radha. Radha, Radha. Good. Maybe I can add something on that nice words of Kishori Dasi. Actually, yeah, yeah. it's even, we are even in the Lila, in Gora Mantra, we are not just with the Yugala, we are in the Lila of the Yugala, because it is a Lila that they come together here. This is a lila it's an active lila and we are already in the lila if we chant actually this is yeah. what explaining yeah. us yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. this is actually what professor dr dr sadhu das anudas is giving us actually because he is the father professor doctor of udava professor because he is our father professor he is actually giving us all this knowledge and he is trying to hide himself and saying that his his uh, students are better than him but from yeah. where they have the inspiration from him this is because of he is the professor doctor father of all these others jai ho jai guru dev jai guru manjari <laughs> <laughs> this is the beauty of the words of Prabhupada that he says slowly but steadily is coming. What is the meaning of this word is a slow process. It, if it becomes fast, what you will rush is is a slow slowly slowly more and more will come and every moment you will surprise but it will be steady not jumping it will be steady is what sar bani mere bhai i see in bandhavan what they do sadhana 
the page four. He was living in Vrindavan. He is so rasik. He write all the bhajan in Vrindavan in page four. And page four is the first page of introduction of Prabhupada writing. And if you understand page four and you practice page four, everything will be crystal clear. One page. Is it not surprising? But thing how to understand and how to make it in life to practice that. You will say page four, one, two, three, is it all prayer before? But page four is his first page of writing. Sri Radha. Oh, sorry. I gave you a sorry mistake on this. No deviation. Just going deeper. Navigation, not deviation. Some hope that slowly and steadily we will reach one day. Radha, Radha, I have a question. Yes, yes. I have a question. So, if love, Srimati Radhika, is the ultimate goal, if she is Paravidya, so why it is not openly spoken? Why it is hidden? Why Shastra not teaching that? Bhagavatam not telling her name? Why it is hidden? That is... My question. Every Shastra talking about God, but it's not the ultimate goal. They could give more openly the real thing. Why to hide it? It's my question. Honestly, I ask this to one speaker of Bhagavad Gita. Similarly, like Uddha is researching Radharani in Sloka of Bhagavad Gita, and he explained, he said, when I read Srimad Bhagavad, only I see Radhika. Many places, all is happening. Is for happiness for Radha. But he is a Sukha, parrot of Radhika, Sukhdev Muni. So if he say Radha name, he will go in meditation. He cannot talk and he has to complete in seven days Srimad Bhagavat. Without pronouncing his Evidently sharing that feelings. If you see that, when you will listen, understand Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita this way, you will see that also there. It's a divine way, the reason, they give the reason, Mahajan give the reason to see that. I said, I see only one place, Radharani, but Uddhav see in every place, every slope, the reason 
अपमर्शी अफराद की जाएं भागवत दैट नॉट ए न्यू सब्जेक्ट फॉर आस टू लिसन हिम यू लिसन गौर वाणी चैतन छत्तामृत he give the reason to understand that is not surprising listen the suniti about prem bhakti chandrika without prem bhakti is not will become enlightened how she bring us inside in that is so surprising here yeah. good day also jesus did the same outside it yeah. always yeah. that 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 so jesus did the same also he outside he uh he was only speaking about the father but inside he is only serving the love she you see no there yeah. i think also gurudev if we were in gaurachandra if we were if we could put uh, paraditya the ultimate reality of radha in a book then that would be the end of it that would be the top that would be finite but it has to be endless this prema this experience of radha always and continuing we cannot put it down on paper and close the book it has to continue ba you see i feel guru that without you i may never understand anything about this topic so a book wouldn't be actually for me readable or understandable or feelable because it's like we said in the morning in the russian uh, sharing all art is there for the try to share feelings knowledge you can share in books no problem but you cannot really share feelings in books you can try and you may succeed for some extent but actually the real sharing of feelings is through art like radharani she is the best artist because she's sharing her mahabhav and this is only to art and art you have to understand what is there between the lines so only if someone can feel that understanding art he can explain art to you the meaning of art so we need someone who can transport this feeling so it would be useless actually to write a book like that because it's written already there so but to understand we need the mercy we need someone who has rati without rati no understanding yeah you know one of five master to understand anyway you know so try to understand ourselves and it not work can i can i share one yeah yeah i was just um while listening to Gora Chandra so uh, question and the beautiful answer which came in from all and also what Udav they are saying that how to put radha's love in a book so what then i was feeling like what is this love you know what characterizes the love of radha and krishna it's parakya bhav so parakya bhav is something very confidential very intimate very private so i don't think it's something to make public no <laughs> so para vidya if we understand para vidya we can enter parakya so i was feeling like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Super. You see? A little bit. I also want to share about my experience of Bhagavad Gita. Still, I'm very new and I didn't have so much experience, but very uh, short this life, but uh, I try to share that. First, I started to run Bhagavad Gita. I see Bhagavad Gita as philosophy. What is life and how to uh, system of mind and reincarnation, universe, uh, universe, etc. But after that, sorry, sorry, by all your mercy, I try to make a relationship with more close with our Swamini. Then, slowly, slowly, my, my reading way changed. Bhagavad Gita is not philosophy. This is all feeling books. It's written friendship with Krishna and Arjuna. Krishna try to encourage Arjuna. Arjuna is very heavy problem in life. And Krishna try to encourage him, don't worry, no problem. Krishna become guru, means what is the business of guru? Make our life success and happy, encourage, try to remember yourself. This is all friendship and love. And where this love comes from? It's our Radhika. Krishna never forget Radhika, even though it He never forget. His heart is always with Radhika. More Vipralamba means more cross. Means this friendship where it come from? It's actually all the total world is from Radha. Krishna's guru. Of love is Radha. Means Krishna try to remember her love and try to give love with Arjuna. That's why if everyone have the same experience, I think, if we have some problem in life, try to see again and again Bhagavad Gita, then encourage our even though in material life, also this family life, also business also. This is not philosophy. Horrible feeling means Mahababa book. By your mercy, I feel it now. Jai Rad. Actually, this is underlined by Prabhupada when he says the best to understand is when you are in a relationship then you can understand this Bhagavad Gita, otherwise not. You have to be in a relationship, then you can best understand. This is actually underlining what you said. Oh. Yeah. Good. If can I ask one question? Yeah. Uh, I noticed that in this uh, wonderful explanation of this Leela of Radha's name, so many times that Baba was using this word Rati Rasananda, the delicious ecstasy of love. I think uh, if I count it, maybe. He has written it five times. So I, I was thinking, what is this delicious ecstasy of love? Dati Rasananda. And another question in that regard is why when Krishna was meditating on Srimati Radhika, he felt this 
Ratiras Ananda, and she is the delish, delicious ecstasy of love. So couldn't she feel it also when she was in her kunj that he is meditating on him? Yes. Rati, why we meditate in Rati Manjali? Rati without, we cannot grow. Even the Ras Ananda, Ras Rasik Shekhar, get Ananda. Ananda is Swami. Rasik is Krishna. She becomes in Ananda. Rati of Krishna makes him in ecstasy. And he is teaching to his associate that this Rati is very important to for Sarupa also. Rupa cannot come without Rati. Rati brings you to, to see the Rupa. Uttamagati, Sri Guru Charan Rati. Rati is the highest subject to be to live there. The six sacred also in ecstasy when he is in touch. So maybe good if it's the glories of the mandris, right? Because she is connecting them. Yeah. I said a 24 half is without <laughs> half is without. 24 not worth. Jananda is still not agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> he is also researching. <laughs> but his half is manjari. Radhe Radhe. By Suniti Didi's comment, why inspiration come? Dati Manjari uh, has another name, everyone knows, Trashi Manjari. Krishna cannot accept prasadam without Trashi leaves. Means Krishna cannot accept with Rati. With Rati, Krishna can accept. That's why Trashi Manjari name is Rati Manjari. Rade, Rade. Maybe I'm wrong, but just my inspiration. Please correct me, everyone. Rade, Rade. Now we have to go more further. We don't interest that in Krishna. That is the point. Be interested in Paravidya. But it's good that we have to start with him, assign with him. Yeah. Till assignment not there, it works like that. Yeah. Go on. Here's where you are. Read. <laughs> Sorry for the diversion, but good exchange. Huh? You want to say without something? Okay. Oh, Bali, sorry. 
Well, Shripada humbly prays, may these two paravidya syllables, Radha, be manifest in my heart. Hmm? She, by whom all desires are fulfilled, is called Paravidya. In this transcendental vision, the maidservant has personally experienced how the chanting of Sri Radhika's holy names fulfills all desires. By the power of the japa of Radhika's holy names and meditation on her lotus feet, Shyamasundara has attained his long desired goddess. Sri Radha's service is the most cherished, cherished treasure of her maid servants. Therefore, Shripada says, May these two Paravidya syllables, Radha, always be manifest in my heart. In a blissful play bower on the bank of the Yamuna, in a jeweled temple, Hari meditates in solitude on the nectarian light that emanates from Radha's feet, day and night, just like the king of yogis. Shyama's hairs stand on end of ecstasy, and tears of love flow from his eyes when he repeats the two wonderful syllables that form the name of goddess Radhika, who is enchanted by a very wonderful Rasika bliss of Rati. The name of Radha that is even practiced by Hari is the wish-yielding abode of rasa and so ever so sweet moon. Rabbanananda says, this holy name is full of ecstasy. Let it always be manifest in my heart. I can read the verse once more. May the two supremely astonishing, blissful, rasika, amorous, and enchanting syllables, radha, that fulfill all desires, that are muttered by Shri Hari, who sits in a power house on the bank of the Yamuna as the king of yogis, meditating on the effulgence of her lotus feet with eyes filled with tears of love, always be manifest in my heart. So that Radhika actually is manifested in our heart, as we said that she is non different also uh, from her name. If, if I can say, I just remember how in 2020 we had a strong earthquake here and it wake us up in the morning. And I remember as everything was jumping in the house and shaking heavily. I stand up and 
I was just calling Radhe, 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 you know. And immediately peace came to my heart and mind. I didn't feel fear in that moment anymore. Like first was fearful situation, like everything is jumping, falling, crashing, you know. You don't know the house will fall on your head. But next moment calling Radhika and immediately I felt at peace. So that is in connection with that, that all obstacles and all problems actually take shelter of Radhika's lotus feet. So if we remember Radhika and keep and take Radhika in our heart, we become fear fearless. So this is so beautiful in this verse. And that we pray that always Radha, all those two syllables stay in our heart. Take their, that, that our heart becomes the resting place of those two syllables. Thank you very much, Dina Deology. It just remember me one thing. Uh, Prabhupada Sarasvati is praying here, place that these two blissful rasika astonished syllables manifest in my heart. He is teaching also ask sadakas how to make a heart jewel box how to put this chintamani of radhika's name in the chinta in the heart because when the heart is full of these jewels of radhika's qualities sweetness, be beauty, lilas, then also all other senses are fulfilled with these two syllables, ra, da. And there is one, I don't know where, but from Radha Rasha Sudhanidhi, Prabhupada Saraswati is praying, may my tongue relish the holy name of Radha. But if the heart is not full of Radhika's name, holy name, then tongue cannot relish, the ears cannot relish, the mind cannot relish. Yes, this is this is actually we, this we can see in uh, general relationships. If we don't have a relationship with someone, remembering that person's name will not give us any emotions because it doesn't come from the heart. But when it, when we have the relationship, then the emotion is born when we remember that person's name. Yes, if we love someone. Immediately, will first thing which we'll remember is his name. His name. It's most easiest thing because our heart is full of his presence. Our mind is full of his presence, and immediately all our senses are not any more wild horses. They are just concentrated and focus on beloved goal. So this holy name actually is not just a chanting, it's not just a mantra, it's a real person, sweet, beautiful, loving person. And when we are in close association with those 
who already has this holy, sweet holy name in their chinta, in their hearts, on their tongue, in their ears. They are completely absorbed and pervaded by this holy name of Radha. Oh. Then maybe we can, in lifetime, one of the lifetime gets one small drop of this nectarian rasa, of yeah. the holy name. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there are Thank and you this, very much. Sorry. Oh, sorry, and this please. is very nicely explained with this rasa, rati rasa ananda, where bhava or rati brings rasa and together with rasa, Krishna, embodiment of rasa makes ananda, makes Rati Rasa Ananda for Krishna makes Rati Rasa Ananda for Radha and makes Bavola Sarati for Manjaro Bhavas, for Manjaris. And then this complete Rati Rasa Ananda. in Bhavolasa Rati, in the heart of Kinkaris. Then, by listening, their chanting of Radha's name, we can say that we are most fortunate persons. They will sprinkle our hearts, and maybe one day these hearts will become Chinta Mani. I'm sorry, I took too, too much time. More, there is a time, read more. Read more, open, read more. Dina Dialogy, next verse, 97 is also celebrating the holy name of Radha. Actually, three verses are celebrating and they are together, Gurudev. Like wow. a chain, like a necklace. <laughs> wow. You want more for your pleasure and other more questions? Than. Please, dialogy. Okay. The next verse. Is it that what? Yeah. The nectarian aim of Sri Radha that is rarely attained even by devatas. Wow. Even the uh, regular devotees, the liberated souls and Krishna's friends, that is listened to and lovingly repeated even by Lord Hari, that is loudly sung by him, to her girlfriends and described by him with tear-filled eyes. And that is the very form of Prema, Rasa and Ananda is my very life. So the Nectarian name of Sri Radha that is rarely attained even by devatas, the regular devotees, the liberated souls and Krishna's friends, that is listened to and lovingly repeated even by Lord Hari, that is loudly sung by him to her, her girlfriends, and described by him with tear-filled eyes. And that is the very form of prema, rasa, 
and Anand is my very life. So, Gurudev, we can see here that it's not. <laughs> we can see here that it's not only Radhika's name is not only hidden in Srimad Bhagavatam. In Vedas, in Puranas, on the planet Earth. It's even hidden for the demigods who oh. also who also have their own shastras, very complicated uh -huh. shastras, <laughs> which are not we cannot imagine which kind of shastras are, but even there for demigods, radhas who are more more elevated than ordinary human beings in many things uh, for them radha's name is hidden and it's very hard to attain almost impossible then it said for regular devotees regular devotees ordinary devotees devotees who follow very strictly vedas in the mood of Vaidhi Bhakti. Oh. This name of our beloved Swamini is completely hidden from their hearts and intelligence because they don't want Radha's name. Then it said, it's hidden to the liberated souls. Different munis. And this is one of the reasons why Shukadev Goswami, one, just one of the reasons, Shukadev Goswami didn't mention Radha's name during his conversation with Parikshit. Because so many saints, Paramahamsas, Mahatmas have been there. And he wanted to hide Radhika's name because he knew. I'm sorry, you are already liberated. You don't need. Uh -huh. And I also yeah. don't want to speak in front of you. Because sometimes devotee who is deeply absorbed in Madhurya Rasa, he doesn't want to reveal his inner feelings and vi visions how Radhika is present in the bathroom. It's so intimate. How she is present in the Kunja. I don't want to reveal to everyone. Especially in the front of muktis, those who are liberated. Then it said, this is very rarely attained to Krishna's friends. Wow. For Krishna's sakas, many of them, the most of them, Actually, they don't care for Radhika because they have other occupations. Just a few, like a few intimate Krishna's friends knows what does it mean Radhika to his beloved friend. But even they cannot approach in all Kunjas, special in Radha Kunda, in all these hidden places, is forbidden. 
Manjar is staying in the gate in front of Kunjas and saying, no, you cannot go inside. <laughs> They're guardians. And this is the reason why we have to be so thankful to Rupa Nuga's devotees who openly and secretly gave us the key to feel presence of Radha and also especially to meditate on her beautiful mantra, which is not different from her form. Then it said in the words, it is really attained even for lovingly Lord Hari, who is repeated this beautiful name. So it means that Krishna has to put some endeavor to be in some specific situations also. Because her, his parents, it's an inter interesting point, his parents actually initiated him, gave him to someone, Gargamuni or someone else, and he got initiation and mantra, but in Narayan mantra. And the uh, intention of parents was just for his protection. But when he came in the solitary place in his room, or in some kunja, or on the bank of Yamuna, he didn't care for this Narayan mantra. Yeah. He was just, just singing Radha, 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 Radha. And very loudly, with the tears in the eyes, showing us also, giving us example of proper chanting from the heart. And that's the reason why in the 96 words, Prabhupada and other says, saying, please come in my heart, because I want to be aware with eyes full of tears and the heart full of waves of emotions about your presence, my dear Swami. And its verse is finishing. Yeah. And this is very form of prema. Rasa and Ananda. <laughs> so, I want that this name, who is very form of Prema, Rasa, and Ananda, comes in my life. Rati, Rasa, Ananda. Ras, yes, Rati. Without Rati, there is no Rasa. Wow. And this chanting. Mucho. Very <laughs> So beautiful. More and more repeated. Yeah. There, there was one Lila. When Krishna was suffering from the pain of separation from Radharani. And Manjari wants to show Radhika how her lover is suffering. And this is a little bit female nature. 
just come <laughs> to see how your lover is suffering from you. But we will hide a little bit. And Krishna was sitting in a kunja. And Radhika outside. hide herself out. Yes, outside. Yes, you are right. And Radhika hide Kinkari hide Radhika <laughs> in Kunja, just close to him. <laughs> then Krishna was also surrounded with the sakis. And he was suffering like anything. And Sakis advised him, okay. We will try to console you. We know for whom you are suffering. You are not suffering for us. <laughs> we know for whom you are suffering. You are suffering for your Radhe. So please chant her name. And Krishna starts to chant Radha, Radhe, 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 Radhe. And in one time, in one moment, he said. It's okay, but she doesn't appear to me. What I'm doing wrong. And Saki said, yes, but with chanting, you have to use some listening also. <laughs> and you have to listen with love and chant with love. Yeah. So Krishna, okay, thank you. I will try now. Wow. And he was put all his endeavor, not only chanting, but with loving listening of Radhika's name. Then, in one moment, he said, I'm sorry, nothing is happening. Nothing. My beloved is not appearing in front of me. And Gor Sakis told him, yes, because you are doing some offenses. Yes. <laughs> Which kind of offenses? You are doing offenses because you have been in other group, opposite group of Radhika. We don't want to mention the name of this group and the leader of that group. So how can I be Free from this offense. You have to clap your palms, hands, and loudly sing with all of us to be revealed that all anarthas, aparadas, go away from you. And during this time, we cannot forget Gurudev this. All the time, Manjaris and Radhikas are giggling, looking through the hole of Lattice. <laughs> and Manjari is supporting Radhika and telling, her, look, look, look. How she loves you, how he loves you. And the Radhika's face was completely blooming. And then, when Krishna starts to dance and clap the hands and sing loudly with full heart and full attention, <laughs> Kinkari took Radhika and said, now this is a proper time for your appearance. And Krishna was amazed to see that object of his meditation, object of his chanting, object of his love, it appear in front of him. Then all King Karis was so deeply immersed in this Rati, Rasa, Ananda or Bhavo yeah. Lhasa Rasa. Yeah. That. I'm sorry, devotee, that you have to tolerate. 
No, Please this was me. very beautiful, Goranga Sundara. You were preparing so nicely. You were studying and meditating all of the three verses, and you give us the gist. So thank you very much for your beautiful feelings and putting all the nectar together, giving us the pictures and your Rati Rasa Ananda. <laughs> My dear Sinati, like Gauravani is many times said today, this is only possible because we have our beautiful, sweet navigator. Without him, nothing will be happen in the heart of mine in the mind of mine. Although I, because it's not the question of the words, lectures, is the question of the feeling, hearts, and how to be strongly related. And I am very, very useless for that. And I apologize to Gurudev and everyone that I'm wasting Beautiful. time. No. Beautiful. Now I have to step in. We have to step in because you know what is happening. In Chaitanya Chaitamrita, it's saying without the Sakis, without the Manjaris, the Leela is not complete, right? They increase, enhance the Leela, and you describe it so beautifully. And I feel the same goes in the sharing here. Without expansions of Gurudev, the zoom is not complete <laughs> you know what i mean like so this is all the mercy which is happening that we are actually helping each other to taste more and you know and, and relish the flavors of these sharings so this you know as you said like we're like we're like garlands on a string you know and on on and by, and we are like on his on the neck of guru there he's keeping us close to him so please, my dear, this is really so beautiful. Like, I just sometimes feel that you're living, you're living in, I told Guru that I feel you're living there in Vilakusuma and Sali. That's so needy. Like, it's like, you know, in these magic stories, when you, somebody jumps into the book and it's there. So thank you, my dear, for all the sharing with us. So, I'm sorry for my presence. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, Gurudev, be merciful. I don't want to be exposed. You, you, you know that I don't like, but I don't know how it's happened. But six thirty is the for Japan is ten thirty now. You know, you see, <laughs> signal is gone. Oh, that we yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nice. I'm proud that Ma is the Rad uh, Suniti Jum and uh, Radha Dasyam become really meaningful for Dasi of Radhikas. This name given by Suniti, right? That time I don't understand <laughs> what is going to happen, but really, you all make beautiful association. How many are there? No, 74. Before? Like 80. Oh, so all are joining and sharing this. And slowly, slowly, many speakers are growing to share their feelings. That's the greatness of inspiration of all of you. I'm very happy 
and I think my Suniti is also very happy. Yes, good. If you drive us crazy, it's all your fault. <laughs> Today we have a, some fight in morning. In what? A fight? About what? I say, Gora Sundar and me fighting. <laughs> I say, I say, this is hidden path. It is not <laughs> open to everyone. Then Gora Sundar said, I also want to say something. He said, not, it's not hidden path. He said, open path. <laughs> And he is also right. He is an open path for who realized. Then he is an open path. And who not realized, for them is a hidden path. Right? Yes, good. If you open our vision and our hearts, and then we cannot hide anymore, just like with Rupa Goswami and Dragunathas. Rupa Goswami never explained so many glories of Radhika alone, even in his Utkalika Valari. But Rupa Goswami, Dati Manjari, Tulsi Manjari, she gave the gist and the feelings of one pointedness so that uh, somehow you are giving this to us, this gift, Gurdi. We are really useless but uh, immensely thankful. <laughs> But you have to see that my Gora Sundara, he said, no, no, he's not hidden, but he's an open see? path. <laughs> is he a good disciple so or not? Is he a good disciple or not? <laughs> yes, he said, I know, I agree with you. He's an open path. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he becomes now Parakia. He is very Parakia now, Gurudev. <laughs> he doesn't agree and not move. Like just in all circumstances, is the open path, he said, not hidden path. This is the great mass. When I listen like this, I feel so fortunate. And Gurudev, eh, one thing more. <laughs> if I see Gurudev, eh, if I see your chair, it looks like you have to only press a button and you can fly in the sky of Vrindavan. Of <laughs> Mahabhav and Gopinanti bring. Wow, it's really like a flying, flying up. Mahabhav. Jai. All glories to Mahabhav and Gopinath. So nice. It looks very beautiful, like a blue, like a sham colored, uh, how do you say, bird. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 